What's up love? Happy New Year. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya and this is your very first time here. We are going to be doing a get ready with me style video today. Just talking about the year girl. Inspiration. How we feeling. How I'm planning for the new year goals that I've set for myself. How I plan on actually getting them done and how you can too. We just going to do some girl chat and set this year off right. Today we are going to be doing this full face look. And the eyes and the lips are brought to you from Deck of Scarlet. Deck of Scarlet is a brand that I have worked with multiple times on my channel. So thank you to them for sponsoring us today. Y'all know we love a sponsor. Jacob Scarlet is a makeup line as well as a bi-monthly subscription service. So their full size palette subscriptions is only $29.95, which is less than most of the stuff that you can pick up at Sephora. <laughs> but like most beauty subscription services, you do have an option to skip the month, but you probably would not want to. This month you will get this beautiful palette, which we are going to be using to create today's look. It has four beautiful eyeshadows as well as a highlighter and a blush. And this month you would also get a leather shine liqueur. Before we hop into it, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right, y'all, let's do it. Okay, we are starting with the brows. I really wanted to change our location today for our first video of the year, which will kind of tie in with stuff that we about to be chatting about in this video. <laughs> But I've been wanting to just diversify my channel a little bit as far as just using more of my house as scenery and getting more into lifestyle. Of course, we'll still be in the studio, but I feel like we needed a little bit of a, a change, a little boost, you know? So I'm doing my brows with my favorite brow product of the moment and that is the Joa Brow Down To Me Precision Brow Pencil and I don't think I ever mentioned what color I use. This is in the shade Black Brown and this has literally been my favorite brow product all of 2020. Well, that's a lie. The end of 2020. I'm gonna sculpt out my brows with my Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. This is in the shade 385. I know when they came out with these concealers, they said that like the concealer you get should be like your foundation shade. I was never a fan of that. <laughs> I like the lighter concealers. Y'all know because I like to highlight my face. But we're gonna go ahead and zoom in and get into these eyes before I start blabbing off at the mouth too much. <laughs> so our eyes today is, like I said in the intro, from a deck of Scarlet. We're gonna be creating a very simple and easy, more soft glam type of look. I really, this year, want to get into more, like I said in Thursday's video. I wanna get more into doing looks that are extremely wearable for you guys. Sometimes we a little, we a little intimidated <laughs> by the colors and all that stuff. And I really want to start doing some stuff that you guys would love to wear on an everyday basis. We are gonna do a nice deep crease. So I'm gonna dip into the shade Dark Roast, which is right here. And this is nice and deep. I already, ooh, I already knew that was gonna be like that. I'm loving it. And I'm just gonna start to go with circular motions. And this brush is from Minted. I'm not gonna go too much because y'all see this is a bigger brush. So I don't want it to be crazy everywhere. But I kind of just want to keep it right there in that that outer V. But this shade is described as a matte chocolate brown shade with another brush from Minted. And this was like their mini brush set that was a holiday collection. I'm just gonna go into Caramel Swirl, which is like a blush color, but I'm gonna use it to blend out this shade and make it more of a blended type of situation. Y'all, we are coming with the soft glam this year. We are coming with it, sis. Y'all about to be the masters of soft glam. <laughs> But I must say that's one of the things that I love about the Deca Scarlet palette is you can use everything in the palette for multiple things. Like if I wanted to use this highlighter as an eyeshadow, which I just might, I can do that, but you also can use it as a highlighter as well. So if you're a one-stop shop type of chick and you ain't trying to have a bunch of products and stuff like that, their products are perfect perfect for you. I do want to go into Golden Latte and Macchiato, which I just said is a highlighter that we're going to use as an eyeshadow. So with a flat brush, the first thing I'm going to do is go into Macchiato and put it on my lid like towards the edge. And this is described as like a vibrant copper shade. I'm loving this, especially the fact that we're about to blend this in with a yellow girl. Yeah, we gonna talk. Just give me a second. Y'all know I can't talk when I'm doing eyes. <laughs> then I'm going back into the brush that I use for that dark chocolate brown shade 
and just going to circular motions to blend that on the edge. Okay, so off camera, I got a little indecisive. <laughs> and I decided to actually layer double shot, which is right here, over macchiato, because I really, I don't think I want to have that deep of a orange type of shade. I'm just going back over that shade with double shot to give it more of a bronzy, not bronzy, but <laughs> more muted color. On my lid, I am gonna go into Golden Latte, which is right here, and I'm just going to press that onto our lid and blend it when it's meeting double shot here and pull it up. I'm actually gonna wipe this off a little bit because I don't want to push that yellow shade all the way up where my skin is. I kind of just want to let it start to taper. From there, I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and go where that yellow is and make sure that it is nice and seamless against the skin. And that is our eyes. <laughs> I am gonna go ahead and make this nice and sharp by using my concealer because I don't want to wing this out today. I just kind of want to create that sharp edge on it, which kind of creates like a natural wing of the eyeshadow. I feel like it just brings it up a notch when you do that. I'm gonna pop on some mascara, and this is the Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. This is a new mascara that I actually just got before I start filming this video. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this to prep my lashes for my falsies and throw on some lashes. And the lashes that I'm going into are the I Envy Luxury Mink 3D Lashes, and this is in number four. So I wanted this video to be a very chill, very, you know, conversational, just so we can talk about the new year and how we're feeling, how I'm feeling, the plans that I have, and how I'm going about prepping for just the new year. <laughs> I'm gonna mention the products, the rest of the products we're gonna be using, but not for real. <laughs> not talking about it, probably not a whole lot, but y'all know sometimes I can't stay away from that. But anyway, this is my Laura Mercier <laughs> foundation primer that I just put on the face, and we are actually gonna be using the NARS Soft matte foundation today. Y'all know I usually mix Macau and Marquise. So yeah, y'all, I know 2020 was crazy <laughs> for a lot of people. I thank God that <laughs> this year actually brought a lot of change into my life, like 180 type of change. <laughs> like my whole life changed this year, like everything just completely turned around for me. And I've already talked to you guys about where I feel like that started, but 2020 for me was a year of change. And I just want to continue that change in 2021. So I have a lot of amazing changes coming to the channel. Not bad changes, good changes. <laughs> um, just different things that I want to do as far as getting more into lifestyle content as well as getting more into my fashion content. This year is gonna bring about a big change for me that you guys are gonna know about <laughs> soon enough. <laughs> but I feel this amazing energy going into this year. Not just because it was so undesirable desirable of a year, you know? It was a crazy, crazy year for most of us. I do just feel like a positive energy and things coming for 2021. I've been sitting down and I've been planning out things this week as far as how I want this year to run for me. Of course, we make our plans, but God orders our steps. <laughs> we all know that, so I take it as a grain of salt, but there's gonna be no change if you don't actually put forth the effort to make that change. So there's a lot of things or a few things that I really want to change this year, just when it comes to my channel, when it comes to my personal development, just as a woman, when it comes to a lot of different things. I feel like this year is a year that I really want to take hold of and own who I am and where I am in life. I feel like we, y'all, I'm rambling at this point, but. <laughs> I really feel like we get to the point where we are so focused on what's next and where we're gonna be and it's always great to plan. I feel like rarely do we ever really enjoy where we are in life and sit back and be like, wow, I pray for this. I pray to be in this moment. I pray to be in this space. I am in a place where I pray to be and now I'm here. How can I enjoy this while still planning for the future? How can I enjoy where I am in life in general as a woman, as a single woman, <laughs> and still look forward to the future? So 
All my single ladies out there who are still waiting for their king, um, I do wanna start doing more content for us. Really start to enjoy where I am in life instead of being in such a rush for that to change, because it will change. But I'm looking to do more content for us just so that, you know, sometimes it can feel really lonely, like we're not the ones who have it good. You know what I'm saying? We want <laughs> the relationships and the companionship and all that stuff, but not realizing that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity that we ain't never gonna get back prayerfully once we find our king you know what i'm saying so <laughs> i just really want to just dive into enjoying enjoying life where i am now because it's not always going to be like this this is a season and i hope that you guys will watch this and realize you know this is kind of goes for everyone i know i'm talking specifically about you know singlehood and stuff like that but i mean just in general whatever like phase in life that you are in right now if 2020 didn't teach you nothing <laughs> is that you cannot waste time you never know what's going to happen you never know if things are going to change for the better or for the worse and i feel like this is the time that we all need to realize where we are in life enjoy that moment in life but while also prepping for the future girl i messed up my little swoop mm -mm, no but i also have a lot of oh that was way too much let me wipe some of that off. <laughs> I also have a lot of amazing content, content ideas for this year and I'm really excited to implement those and to be working on those and doing more on my channel as well as providing even more helpful beauty content for you guys. I feel like that is the thick of my channel so that's not something I ever want to lose but I am a lifestyle and fashion channel as well. So I'm excited to bring more of that content. And also just like y'all goals for 2021. Like I just bought a new planner. You've watched any of my lifestyle videos about, you know, like my productive routines and stuff like that. Y'all know I need a planner, <laughs> like a open book pen to paper planner to help me to stay on track, to help me to, you know, plan out my goals, to physically see my goals is so helpful for me. So I did just recently buy my 2021 planner and I have just been planning stuff out, writing down content ideas. And girl, first of all, can we talk about how this skin is looking without even being set though? Yes. <laughs> and then with the eyes, girl. But yeah, um, God, I lost my train of thought. What was I just talking about? <laughs> What was I just talking about? Oh yeah, we were talking about goals. So <laughs> I have been setting my goals for the year and I've just been working on wanting to manifest those goals and pray about my goals and talk to God about it. Ask him, are my goals in line with his will, you know, and I'm feeling really good about that. One of my biggest things is I want to get more into my Instagram content because I've kind of let it go by the wayside since I've been focusing more on YouTube the past six months or so. So one of my goals is to reach 100,000 followers on my Instagram this year, preferably the first half of the year. And in my planner, I did decide like, okay, I'm gonna set goals for every area of my life, you know, and work on them. Because it's one thing to set the goals, it's another thing to actually show up for yourself in those goals every single day because we all know you can set goals all day long but if you don't actually put anything into action and change your behavior and change your life um nothing's gonna happen i can say i want to live a healthy lifestyle but if i'm still ordering <laughs> out all the time unhealthy options and not get it up um and prioritizing my workout then that's just not ever gonna happen i just wanted to encourage you guys and encourage myself <laughs> to actually put things into action this year. One thing that I have really struggled with since becoming a full-time YouTuber is just like time management and actually getting up and doing <laughs> the things that I say that I'm going to do. Um, as far as my lifestyle, as far as how I want my days to run, I wanna focus more this year on really perfecting my lifestyle. I've been on a feminine journey, being more intentional about that on a daily basis because 
you have to be intentional. Stuff is just not gonna happen, like we, like I just said. So <laughs> um, that is something that I am working on in every area of my life this year. It's just being intentional about the lifestyle that I want to live, because eventually it becomes habit. But at first, it's not habit. <laughs> It's different for you. You know, you're used to something and that's your comfort zone. And it's hard to really dive into being a different type of way. And in my case, because I want to be that way. I've always seen the lifestyle that I wanted to live. And I'm finally in the spot where I can live that, but it doesn't just happen. You know, <laughs> you have to be intentional. Me having a skincare routine that I do not get away from morning and night I have to be intentional instead of laying in my bed and being lazy and sleeping, you know, with my eyebrows on, I have to actually get up <laughs> and do my skincare. You know, like you have to be intentional about the lifestyle that you want to live. And that is where I am in 2021. We're about to be intentional about this lifestyle, sis. And the powders that I use are my Laura Mercier powders, translucent and medium deep. So I'm also using my minted, bronzer and this is in Yacht Life. I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of like me to where you want to have a certain type of lifestyle but sometimes it's hard to live it. And when I say lifestyle y'all, I ain't talking nothing about no money or nothing like that. I'm talking about how you carry yourself, who you are as a person, as a woman, you know, how you spend your mornings, how you spend your evenings, how you carry yourself, your mindset, how you decide to spend your time. That's what I mean when I'm referring to lifestyle. So we all have an idea of the kind of life we want to live. And I feel like it is, life is too short to wait per, for perfect conditions. That is something that my sister really drove into me. Um, I think it was, I was like in my mid twenties um, and I wanted to move out of the apartment that I was in and move into a better one. And I was waiting for this to line up, for that to line up, you know? And <laughs> she told me, she was like, look, you will never do something if you wait for perfect conditions. So if you're waiting to have a dedicated skincare routine morning and night until your apartment looks better, you know, and you just feel more luxe, don't wait. <laughs> or if you're waiting to start to dress better and feel better about yourself once you lose 10 pounds, you know, like you just have to learn that you just can't wait for certain things to happen because sometimes life happens and things just don't go as planned. So are you just going to put off your dream life or your goals until you have exactly what it is that you wanted? You know, till you look the way you wanted, till you feel the way you thought you wanted to feel. I feel like those are the vibes this year and those are the vibes that I have intentionally and we gonna make this a group thing. <laughs> Me and my galore gang, y'all, we finna tear up this year. Regardless of what your financial situation is, regardless of what your self-esteem is like, you know, as women we deal with self-esteem issues. I deal with self-esteem issues on a daily basis. <laughs> You know, not feeling good enough, not liking certain things, having insecurities and everything, but we cannot allow those things to keep us from living our lives. Even those of us who are mothers, like me, you can't let that keep you from living your life either. You are still a person, you are still a woman, you are still significant. Life is not over. <laughs> Just me, I definitely am one of the ones who thought life was over when I became a mother. I I'm just saying. <laughs> but turns out it wasn't. It didn't even start yet. So really quick, we are going to zoom in for the lower lash line. I'm going back into dark roast here at the bottom and I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line. And this is the Anastasia brush. I'm using the flat side. I'm not taking this all the way over. I don't know if you guys noticed, but when you take a deeper shade all the way underneath your eye, all the way to here, it kind of closes your eyes up. Uh, it's kind of the same idea of what happens when you use a black eyeliner all the way across on the bottom. So I'm just taking it about 75%. I'm gonna flip this over. I know Anastasia does have a fluffy side. So I'm dipping into Caramel Swirl. I'm gonna use that just to dust that shade out, make it more blown out. I am skipping the liner on the bottom. If you guys notice, I've been skipping that a lot lately. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like sometimes it's unnecessary, especially when I'm about to go in with a nude one. I kind of already have that there. I'm gonna dip back into that mascara from Maybelline. 
and I'm going to define my lower lashes. And let's see if we can actually see if this gives us more length. Okay, yeah, I like that. Y'all know I like them real spidery lashes at the bottom. And those are our eyes. We're gonna go in with a little bit of a highlighter in a second, but it's this. She cute, cute. <laughs> so for me, the blush in this palette is more of like a under eye brightener. So I am going to actually go into this Alamar Colorette Blush Trio. And this is their one that's for dark to rich. And I think I'm gonna go into this shade for a blush. I feel like that's gonna be really, really pretty. This is Twin Flame. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. I love that. <laughs> I feel like that's a very pretty like burnt orange type of blush shade. Especially since y'all know I'm getting away from doing a whole lot of highlighter on the cheeks. I've been loving accentuating my cheeks with more of a blush shade versus a highlighter. Do you guys like the vibe that we're doing in the living room today? <laughs> I think it's super, super cute and cozy. I actually wanted this to be more cozy, but just, just bear with me, sis. I got some ideas for this year. I got some ideas. <laughs> it's gonna be real cute, girl. It's gonna be real cute. For a highlighter, I'm going into my Nabla highlighter. I really feel like I want a nice golden coppery type of highlight today. Nothing too blinding just to like accentuate these features, girl. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed our little talk today. I really just wanted to go into this new year encouraging you guys. Um, Cause I feel like we are a family here on my channel. I try really hard to cultivate that and to make sure that we all feel a sense of togetherness here. And I'm all about positive vibes. I'm all about loving on yourself, self-love. I'm all about being intentional about your life and what you want it to be. And I want that to be translated into you guys' lives as well. So I really wanted to come out with a very po positive vibe, positive video for our first video of the year, just to set off the tone of the year. Change our scenery a little, ooh, y'all, I am angry. She girl, oh wait now. I want to change our scenery a little bit um, at the beginning of the year just to kind of give us a boost and get us excited for 2021. So lastly, before we finish off the face, we are gonna get into these lips, girl. First thing we have is the lip liner, long lasting lip liner and pumpkin spice. So really quick, I'm gonna show you guys a swatch of the lip liner. It's a little light for what I wanna do today, but it is a beautiful orange coppery type of shade. But we do have the Mocha Patent Leather Liqueur which I feel like today we might want to try this out. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. So you can see what it looks like. That is giving me old Hollywood glam, sis. I love this. It's really hydrating. And I think I'm just gonna try to put this in the middle and just see how it looks and then I might choose one. But we also have the liquid lip in cappuccino. So we get a cute little ombre lip, but they are different formulas. If you see, the first one is more of a gloss, whereas this liquid lip is more of an, a matte. And I don't necessarily think I wanna do them both together. I think I'm gonna keep this more on the lighter side. So I'm actually gonna remove this and I'm gonna go in with a liner and put on the cappuccino liquid lip. Yes, you're talking about the perfect matte nude lip. This is very cute and it's suiting for the eyes. I feel like it's all about making sure everything flows together. Not too light, not too dark for the eyes. And it kind of brings in this shade here from the eyeshadow into the lips and kind of just makes it a whole vibe, sis. It's a look. <laughs> all right, y'all, so this is our finished look. I'm gonna zoom in, let y'all see a little bit. And we're gonna wrap this up. All right, y'all, so that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and this little girl chat. Don't forget that you can get 30% off of your first month at Deck of Scarlet by clicking the link in the description box. Shout out again to Deck of Scarlet for sponsoring us today. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, let me know how you guys feel about this year, if you're excited, if you have any type of inspiration to share with the girls, let us know. Also, if you guys have not yet, please make sure that you hit subscribe below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.